Somalia's hardline Islamist rebel group of Al Shabab vowed on Friday that it would send fighters to Yemen to help an Al Qaeda affiliate there against government forces. The group, which controls much of the south and center of Somalia, paraded hundreds of newly trained Islamist fighters at one of the group's base in northeast Mogadishu. Sheikh Mukhtar Rabul Abu Masur, a prominent Al Shabab leader, encouraged hundreds of heavily armed newly trained militias who chanted "God is great" in Arabic to fight along with Yemeni anti-government rebels. Our brothers in Yemen should know that we are your reinforcement, Allah willing. The Somali Mujahideens are ready to cross a small river between us and to reinforce you. Prepare them where they will come. Yemen, north of Somalia, just across the Gulf of Aden, has been fighting anti-government rebels. The country has seen a spate of attacks against Western targets over the past decade. An Al Qaeda affiliate based in Yemen claimed it was behind the failed Christmas Day plot to blast a U.S. jetliner. Al Shabab, which wages relentless attacks on Somali government targets, said it was ready to counter a possible offensive by the Somali government forces and African Union peacekeepers based in Mogadishu. The group urged its militias to destroy the United Nations. The International Court of Justice in The Hague and the international community as a whole, accusing them of being anti-Islam. The radical movement, the largest and most powerful rebel group in Somalia, which is considered a terrorist entity by the Somali government and several other countries, sees international institutions as tools used by the West against Islam. The Somali government, which controls only parts of Mogadishu under the protection of some 5,000 African Union peacekeeping forces, enjoys international legitimacy, but is fighting for its survival and is widely believed to be planning for a major offensive against rebels in Mogadishu. Xinhua News Agency correspondent reporting from Mogadishu.